Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. So in this video today, I'm going to show you how to fix media not found or media lost in CapCut. So there's a couple of ways to do this. The first one is to just right click on the little missing file component here in the media pool. So just right click on it, select link to media. This window will pop up, link, link media, then just search for your file in File Explorer, select it and then open it. That will solve the problem. If you've deleted your file, unfortunately, you're going to have to use a recovery tool to recover it. This is quite a problem. There's not much you can do about it. The only other option is if you've only deleted it to the recycle bin, you can restore it. So just go over to the recycle bin, open it, and then find your file that's missing. Right click on it and go to restore. That'll restore the file and you should be able to grab it from CapCut again. Again, if you've deleted it from the recycle bin, you're going to need to use a recovery tool and that's sort of temperamental. You may get it back, you may not. Other than that, you may also get this when you first open CapCut. So if you've got CapCut open, you open a project, it will give you the link media option. So you can just go straight from here, select your file from there and then load it in. The only other thing is if you've accidentally changed the file name for your file, so this file here, if you've renamed the file, it's going to appear as media not found. So you need to go back and change the file name back to what it originally was. You can find the location just here on the right, just in the details section, and you'll also know the name. So you can change the name back using that. However, you can also just delete the missing file from here. So just right click on it, delete, confirm the deletion, and then you can re-add the file with a different name. Unfortunately, CapCut doesn't have the option to search folders. So when you right click here and you do link to media, other programs like Premiere Pro and DaVinci Resolve, they allow you to click link media and then you can search an entire drive. So we could search the entire PC if we wanted to. It would find the file and then import it back in, fixing the linking issue. CapCut doesn't do that yet, unfortunately. However, I do suspect they will add it at some stage. Though if you are pretty good with CapCut, I highly suggest switching to DaVinci Resolve. It's free, easy to use, and you're going to get a lot of extra features. Anyway, that wraps up this one and I'll see you in another video. Cheers, everyone.